my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Hi guys, alright so let's jump straight into today's tutorial and then let's go into Photoshop. Now click over here on create new and then let's click add a width over here. Let's set it to 26, 0, 2. And then come here to the height. Let's set it to 2, 0, 0, 0. That is 2000. Here is pixels. Let's set it here to 100. And then let's call it Fun Grounds Collection Flyer. And then set it to RGB color over here. Ape it here. Color white. And click on create. Now we are not going to print this particular one, it's just for social media handles, but I still want to bring in some lines just to help me. And so I'm going to click here, I'll, I'll click here to set here to 2, set here to 2, click over here on margin, set here to 1, 1, 1, 1 each and click on OK. And so we're going to have something nice like this, Control 0. And then I'll also like to set a line somewhere around here just to guide me a little bit. Now once this is done, let's go straight um, to the files. I'm going to leave everything for you guys in the description and then when you go into my blog you're going to find everything over there but if you're also interested in my psd file of this particular flyer or poster and then any other flyer as well if you're interested in the psd files guys i'm going to leave a link in the description for you just check that video out once you are done send me a message and let's vibe okay so click on enter here and then let's click over here the other rectangular to click over here and then let's just draw a line like that a shape like that click here let's set it to color white awesome and then let's bring in um a curve for this particular one now this tutorial is going to be quite lengthy let's drag this one down a little bit if possible drag it here up a little bit as well all right, so let's drag the middle rather down. That's all. It, it's going to be lengthy, so I'm going to try to speak less and then do a lot of, um, you know, work so that we can finish this tutorial as quick as possible. Let's put everything in a folder and let's call it BG. Great. Now let's start with our items. And so let's go here. Let's start with this one. Drag it into Photoshop. Release it like that. And then let's just resize it like that. Uh, Now pick your selection to make sure caps lock is off. Select this one. Alright, now give it a mask over here. Double click it and click on invert. Alright, so with this one I'm gonna click on my you no know, selection tool again and still cut this side okay and then maybe cut here because all those sides are not going to show and then let's give it a mask double click it and then invert so something like this now if we want to bring it all you have to do is just click here and then we'll bring it back in again so it's quite cool we can work with this click on your move tool let's go and let's bring this one as well Now you could see here is pure white and so it's going to really interfere with the color over here so let's go here double click here and let's set it to somewhere here all right just to this or click over here so that we can have a little bit of and then let's look for the whitish colors over here this is to help us a little bit awesome
you know images this one i'm going to drag it somewhere here somewhere here great then I'll go i'm going to also give it a line now from here to here i'm going to call it back okay open it including this one as well so back now this is going to be on the front of it i want to see how it looks like okay so i need to give it some shadow here also the your caps lock is off and then one two and then all right so something like this let's reduce the opacity all the way down okay so all the way down to somewhere around 20 or 22. 20. i like that i like that and uh, so let me close it now all right so this is it let's go and then let's bring in this as well Now let's resize it awesome now what i'm going to do is you could see there was a reflection over here i want all of them to have reflections so i'm going to put this in a folder and then i'm going to duplicate it okay now what sorry now the one underneath it i'm going to control t right click it and then flip vertical and then drag it down here like that you feel me great then i'm going to give it a blur set it all the way somewhere here somewhere around 3.3 .3, they were about and then click on okay sweet i'm also going to give it a mask and then pick my brush and then mask it click somewhere here hold shift and then click here just want to mask it something like this is quite great and then let's give it a layer here pick your brush and then click over here give it a black or dark blue and then put it at the edge of it just at the edge of it that is you could give it a contact you know uh, so a contact shadow yeah so contact shadow and um, this is good let's close it all right so that one is good let's go for another one again let's see let's pick this let's drag it into photoshop now let's bring our lines so we can see our lines here this is where the contact is let's resize it a little bit we also want it to be very close to it let's zoom in we really want to see what we are doing all right so great awesome now this also let's put it in a folder let's duplicate it and the one underneath it Control t and then right click it and then flip vertical and then hold shift and then drag it down you want to drag it down until there is contact on both so you can see there's a contact over here that is it Control b or if you like can go here to filter and go to blur and go to gaussian blur i just want i just left shortcuts a lot and so i set mine to a shortcut i hope you pardon me so this one i will reduce it all the way to 1.6 and then okay and then i'll give it a mask sweet so now use my brush and then mask it i don't know how to mask guys there is a video i have on that to show you everything now with this one i will reduce the opacity a little bit reduce the opacity a little bit reduce the opacity a little bit if possible i'll click a set here to white and then click over here and then i mask this side just to reveal more of it great but then i also need to make sure the contact has a shadow so i'll give it this and then i'll select here to this color and then give it one shot and then i would you know make it like that and perhaps drag here like this and then enter and then drag it all the way there just to give it a contact like that and also look at it 
the edge of it also needs to fill a little bit of some you know darkness or some shadow over there so i'll give it this right click it and then clip it to it you see and then i would mask the edges and then i will reduce the opacity a little bit i'll use something like this um yeah we can work with this we can work with this right we can work with this let's close it and then let's go and then let's bring um let's bring this drag it into photoshop as well and then bring your lines so that we can see it and then drag it here great enter now let's see what everything gels well yeah, i think everything gels well okay so let's see with well, this one also to make it quite realistic we need to first give it a shadow contact shadow and then drag here like this drag here like that and then drag it here like that simple right great and then once that is done let's see um let's open this one let me see this one click here click on b click here send it to black and then click over here and then let's clean here let's clean here and then maybe let's push it up a little bit more anyway that's all just by the way so let's close it and we're done with this the shadow over there right awesome now let's click over here Control um j to duplicate it the one underneath it Control t and then click here and then flip vertical and then let's hold shift and drag it down like that until both contact hit each other and then let's see let's control b to blur it and then let's move here a little bit maybe three or so and then let's also give it a mask now that we've given a mask let's click on our brush increase the size a little bit and then go here make sure it's a soft round brush opacity and flow 100 here is color black and then this side is selected and then you mask it you just mask it you just mask it okay so let's mask it like that now you could also click here and reduce the opacity a little bit just to give it more realistic um you know touch to it and so something like this is not bad right we can manage this it's not bad as long as the client sees it and looks a little bit realistic um, we are good to go let's put everything in the group all right and this particular group i wish i could bring it quite closer to it as well Let's bring another touch to it. This one, Irish Spring. I love this soap. I don't know whether I'm the only one or I really love this soap. Irish Spring. All right, so um, the size is also good. All right, so you can see it's also touched the line over here. Now with this one, we can give it a shadow or we can choose not to give it a shadow. All right, so you can click here. The one underneath it, let's right click and vertical and the whole shift and then drag it down. Awesome. Go up a little bit. Control B to blur it or go all the way to filter. Go and look for Gaussian blur. I believe you know how to find Gaussian blur. Click here and then click here. And then once you give it a mask, click on your brush tool and then let's mask it. So guys, if you don't know how to mask, definitely you find a video on my playlist or i'm going to leave it in the description also for you to look at and then see whether you can also learn how to mask so that it will be easier for you and then let's bring it here in a little bit all right so i think this is good let's boost it up a little bit and that is it so we are done with this let's also put this one in a group and then let's put everything here in the group let's call it front awesome but we want to separate those at the back from those at the front one of the things we can do is to bring in some darkness in there reduce the opacity so let's set let's set here to also just subtle to 1717 17. very subtle or you could leave it like that and it will still work it will still work out nicely for you okay so i like this already 
this looks good for me and so let's start with our text and then click over here let's come and pick Lucy and paste it there all right so let's open our character and then let's set it to mermaid let's choose mermaid and then let's come here let's set it to bold let's set here to two four four and then the tracking to zero and then click over here and click over here as well let's do color white and then let's drag it so all of a sudden we can see that we have to do some minor adjustment over here let's go in and then let's see one two three and then let's just resize it like that just like that we solved it and then um, let's also duplicate the Lucy. Let's type S. Now I designed this for a client called Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy from Grand Central. That's why you see it like that. All right, so I'll put this in a folder and I'll call it Lucy and then this particular folder i'll double click it and then i'll go to drop shadow set here to multiply click over here set it to color black and then also set your opacity to 73 and then the angle to 90 and then here to 14 here to 15 and here to 16 and then click over here set here to this and then that's pretty much it great so you can see it over there now i want us to open it let's click over here and then let's go and then pick this golden foil drag it in there and then like that clip it to it over there duplicate it drag it down Lose as well, clip it over there, and then we are done with it. Now let's type over here and let's pick friend grants or free grants depending on the school you went to. Open your character, and then we are going to use Tempos headline, and we are going to use regular over here. We are going to set here to 74. And then the tracking, let's say the tracking to 150. And then let's make sure this is off. Let's see. Okay, so let's click that one. Let's make everything caps as well. Make it italics. And then let's see. Let's drag it quite closer to it. Nice. Great. Let's bring in some few details also over here. Click over here. Come and pick new arrival go back there and then paste it over there now with new arrival we are going to use real way we're going to use real way let's set here to bold great let's set here to 31 the tracking let's set the tracking to zero awesome click here and click here and then let's choose a red color let's choose d8 one three one zero enter awesome let's zoom in and then let's pick our rectangular tool and then let's draw a rectangle like that for it awesome drag the rectangular beneath it and then let's zoom in again let's make sure the arrival falls within the middle of the rectangle awesome let's drag a line here and let's drag a line here now let's put this uh, this and this in a folder let's call it new arrival and then let's draw something here go here and pick your ellipse too then draw 
small circle like that set the color to color white and then come here and then draw it here if it's not color white please click on you go here go here and search the color white okay now duplicate it and then drag this one down here like that let's see something like this let's make sure one is up great so i like this already let's duplicate it the two and then let's drag it here like this zoom in again all right so now we have 10 let's put it in a folder open it and drag this one also to it let's call it five dots awesome duplicate it and then drag it all the way oh sorry okay this one can't take it off we can't take this one off drag it all the way here somewhere here but then double click it and then let's go to color overlay click here let's choose color black okay let's go to here let's set it to normal nice now it works all right so that is it um let's see so that is it and then i want this side to be uh more whiter and so i would go to the background here give it a layer take my brush set here to color white and then paint it like that paint it like that all right now i'll click here and then clip in mask so it's clipped to it and then now we can close it and then we go back here and then move it down like that the next thing i want us to do is to type the rest of the details here let's go here let's choose the number then let's paste it there now guys if you are interested in them you can call them right you can call them right so let's push it somewhere here and then let's use tempos headline or we are using bold for it and then we are setting here to 72 the tracking let's set the tracking to zero and then let's click let's see let's make it bold let's see awesome let's click here let's set it to d8 one three one zero for the red color okay. and that is it let's bring it closer to the line awesome let's type here and let's pick the rest of the detail call or whatsapp and then let's paste it there as well now for call or whatsapp we are still using tempos headline we are still using bold but let's set the font size to 35 and then the tracking still remains zero let's click here to make it italics let's see let's click here to make it bold let's see if i let's click this one let's click this one as well take it off click here let's add it to color black and then that is it let's bring it closer to it something like this now i want to pick my rectangular tool and do a very thin line very thin line like that all right now let's go here let's set the color black and then let's zoom in we want to be accurate so let's zoom in and then let's drag it down click on your move to drag it down and then drag it like that awesome let's give it a mask and then let's go to our brush let's go here let's use a hard round brush click on the mask set here to color black and then reduce the size Make sure the opacity and the flow is 100 click here hide it click here hide it and then click the ones in the middle there and then that is it great let's continue let's type here and then let's go and pick the location and then let's paste it here now location let's go to our character the location we are using tempos headline still 
but let's use medium over here and then let's set it to 35 still click over to make it italics but let's click here let's set it to color white all right now let's click here as well and let's draw something just something drag it underneath it now double click it and set it to color black okay so we can see our text we have to see it now the location let's try and keep it in the middle of the text or should i say in the middle of the rectangle let's resize the rectangle to fit let's resize the rectangle to fit if possible let's uh, skew it a little bit and then we transform again then transform it here like that and then drag it down a little bit so that it fits perfectly like that so this is great but then we're still not done let's click here and then let's draw a very thin line like that very thin line the color black and then just click and move to and then just drag it to it uh, ask me what's the meaning of this line this line means absolute nothing nothing at all it's just designing nothing more nothing more nothing more nothing less and then let's type here and then let's pick winnie campus let's paste it here i believe that's where they are located click here and then oh should i click close click here and then let's go and look for color black and then okay and then let's drag it to a h the line we are still using tiempos head line guys and then we are setting it to semi bold for now we'll change some few stuff along the way let's go here let's set it to 46 and then the tracking to zero as usual we are making it italics here the color is color black you know already but i want you to double click it and then over here just click here and then go over here and set it to regular just like that and then let's zoom out now let's bring it closer to it and then these two one two three which one is this one no we don't want that one so just this one let's drag it closer to it as well sweet and then one and then two let's drag it closer to this as well and then the black let's call this one black dots let's drag it somewhere here all right so that is pretty much it for now let's put everything in a folder let's call it detail but we'll remember, we'll remember it all right so we will and then let's type here and then let's pick this detail we deal in copy and paste it there now i want you to open your character and then we are going to use oracle script it's setting the font size to 78 great and then we are also making it italics here and then the tracking to zero the color let's set it to color white and then let's bring our lines so let's type here and then let's pick this detail let's paste it there now we are going to use railway for this set it to 42 let's set the tracking here to 100 this way to space out nicely for us click over here let's set it to f 0 c c 4 e give it a yellowish color and that is it now let's zoom in and drag it here click on your move tool and drag it somewhere here click here and then look for your ellipse tool and just create a small circle like that set the color to color white okay and then let's move it there to the middle of it awesome and then let's drag it closer to the line duplicate it and bring it down a little bit more so this and then let's go here to character go to paragraph make sure this is selected all right all right so now let's go here let's pick splash double click it until it's selected over here and then paste good now duplicate it again
let's pick earrings. So we'll click here and paste it there. Great. Then let's drag it again. All right. Let's go here. Let's pick wipes. If I let's select one all the way to lip balm and then let's duplicate it and then let's hold shift and then drag it down. Let's go here to a mini more and then from here to here let's delete it. Click on your text to type over here and paste it there and open your character. And then let's set it to railway here. Let's set here to 30. The tracking, let's set it to zero. Let's set here to an italics and then click here. Let's set it to white. And then let's find a place to put it somewhere here. Now let's do mark less key. Great. So from here all the way to here, let's select it and put it. Let's call it we deal in now i want us to shift it down a little bit great and if possible let's drag it in a little bit as well awesome if possible let's also click here i'm going to look for we deal in and then drag it all the way here to something like this as well makes it more nicer click over here on your rectangular tool and then let's draw a rectangle like that and then let's click on our move tool and drag it down great now i want us to drag this one all the way up okay close this one everything is in its rightful folder this particular one let's go and let's bring our logos let's bring dav in there great something like that right click it and then create clipping mask and then let's resize it so we see it here in fact let's set it to a different color so that after that we can work on it let's set it to maybe around this color okay so that we can see what we are doing something like this is good and then let's go again and then let's pick um let's pick irish spring drag it in there okay now let's also clip it to it right and then let's do it like that Awesome. Let's go and pick another one again. Let's pick um, sure. Drag it in there. Let's clip it to it as well. If I let's drag sure underneath Irish Spring like that. Great. And then let's go and pick another one again. Let's pick um, Rexona. Drag it in there. And then let's see. Okay, so. Now, Rexona, let's pick this. And then let's start from here. All the way here. And then click on our mask. Awesome. And then let's drag Rexona closer. Uh, let's see, let's do it like this. And then sure, let's bring sure down a little bit more. And then this one, let's also clip it to it. Clip it to it, clip it to it. Okay. So something like this is good so far. Let's go and then let's also bring in which one? Adidas. Let's drag Adidas in there. Awesome. 
Let's try Adidas team there. Okay. Create clipping mask again. So everything is clipped. Now on top over here, let's pick um, this one. Okay, then let's do it like that. Enter create clipping mask. And then let's drag it here. And then let's drag this here. Like this. Drag this line here like that. Let's go and then let's pick Nivier to drag it in there. And then let's create it like that. Let's drag this one like that. And then let's send it up. Okay. Now down here, right click it or double click it, sorry, and go and do for color white. Now make sure everything, including even Nivier, is also clipped. We want everything to be in the confinement of this particular um, box. And I think we are done. But one more thing. Let's go. Let's, if I, let's put everything in a folder and then let's call it blue. Go. Now I want us to go all the way here. Okay. Here and then front. Let's put it in the folder. Let's call it images. Now, after that, we should put a uh, gradient map on top of it. Go over here, click here, go to photographic tooling. Let's see. Click over here, and click on OK. And then let's scroll here, let's set it to soft light. And then the opacity over here is 100. The flow is also 100. Don't mess with it. And then that is it guys so guys if you love this video please feel free to hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well and remember i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace